In 2014, RHEL Southwest provided technical assistance through the Oklahoma Rural Schools Research Alliance to Homer Elementary School. The focus of the technical assistance was the effective use of data to inform classroom instruction. This ongoing collaborative professional learning consisted of two in-person training sessions followed by monthly virtual meetings with teachers and principals. One year after the RHEL Southwest technical assistance ended, the teachers and principals continued to meet collaboratively and were systematically using data to inform classroom instruction. This is their story. Honestly, at the time the call came, it was right before school started, and we were doing what we do every summer. The two of us were poring over test data that had just come in, and it was the subject that we had just been grappling with. So we thought, you know what, maybe this is our opportunity, maybe this is what was sent to us for us to use to really make a difference. It's hard to take on something new, again, at the beginning of every school year. Once we get started, people want to do better. They want our kids to achieve. I think, I think people came first thinking this is another thing, we'll live through it, we'll listen, maybe I can find one or two things to change. But as teachers begin to share, and I think the facilitation by Diana and by listen, the videos you guys provided, the... Um, just that expertise. Yes, you know, and, and just the, the, the practice things that we went through together, you know, the processes that we set and went through like lesson by lesson and we studied things. I think it began to just make sense in, in a practical way, and so the buy-in came, did come slowly, but people began to see a purpose, and as stories about their students were shared, or teaching methods, um, then we got the teacher buy-in because everyone saw that there was a, there was a, a there was an application. Right. And it had relevance, you know, it made, it had relevance to them through their personal as they were collaborating through their personal stories with one another they saw that had relevance to me it can make application real application in my classroom you're constantly monitoring and observing just walking and, around yes you can tell when that light bulb goes yeah, off you right, know i've been right. in your classroom yes. and you can tell when well, you can tell, you can tell that that it's when look Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> it's it's not registering. Baby you steps. just have to start, mm -hmm. and it, it will it just evolves. And it was just a slow, baby steps, mm -hmm. not waiting in all at once, just doing it, and having those scheduled monthly meetings, whether we liked it or not, mm -hmm. saying yes, that's what we're going to have, mm -hmm. because once we would get in there, we would enjoy it. We loved having that time to talk with each other amongst grade levels, but it was just making yourself do it. The teachers and principals work together on planning benchmark and formative assessments and modifying instruction to meet student needs. Two teachers describe how they use student learning data to modify their instruction and determine the next instructional steps. We also do sticky notes sometimes. They put um, a sticky note on their desk and they tell me, got it, didn't get it, need more work. Just simple as that. So we kind of change it up from you know time to time to, to make it different. But I use what they tell me to decide what I need to do next. And so I pull the ones that tell me I want more work on it. Um, I would like to see more work. I need more practice on it. And then we can dig deeper one-on-one -on -one and cover the lesson again so it just gives them more practice. I have chosen these three children because they are the three children that are struggling with their letters and their sounds and their and um, phoneme segmentation so I have chosen the three. I just use whatever I think is going to be fun and I think will be meaningful for the children something that they enjoy to do. This we don't have our test results back mm -hmm. from our state test and so we take benchmark assessments three times just to show us at fourth and fifth grade what skills we need to work on and which students need the most intervention. And so this is our three test assessments and as you can see the red by this time we're down to two in that class, three in that class, six students that will not, that projections are we only have six that are going to have struggle with the test. At fifth grade, we have 87% projected to pass the test, which will be the highest we've had in, oh my goodness, I can't tell you how long. It's been a long time coming. Just that student's name, 
became real. It was, it was a person up there, not just on a piece of paper. It became, and you want that child so badly to move, you know, to make progress. So that became, those are not just names, they were a real person. And just take, and taking that sticker mm -hmm. off and moving it somewhere else when they uh, benchmarked or they mastered a skill, that just feels good. That felt like success. It's concrete. And sometimes you need that. Through the vision and leadership of the principals, Homer Elementary School teachers became dedicated to ongoing collaborative professional learning with a focus on using data to improve student learning. Um, I, it changed the culture of our school, you know, as we have shared plan time and would, as we would have grade level meetings a lot of times we would walk in and it would be housekeeping items or teacher needs and that slowly became about students so conversations in the workroom and the cafeteria and the hallway became different and it became about students so it wasn't just one teacher student it's everyone's student so everyone's working on promoting success and you know we included our speech teachers in the process they gave us hints on how to meet students needs that maybe were speech students that we'd never thought in the past everyone needs to be on the team Dana Jordan who was one of uh, the members of our leadership team wonderful teacher um, would use her data daily uh, to drive her instruction to work out her own intervention and naturally our local university snatched her up when a vacancy uh, came about there because they want great quality teachers to teach the future teachers and so she took a job but we didn't really lose her because she's still she's still part of us still comes back here and uh, we've even been to her classroom and shared with her students and so with her students part of the class requirements were to go out and to do assessments and then to do provide intervention and to do pre and post test and to work with students and so we welcomed those students to our campus and last fall when she was teaching that class we had lots of future teachers after school at our campus working with our extended day students and so we had the benefit of even more help after school one year after the rel southwest stopped working with homer elementary school the principals reflect on how the change has become a part of the school culture to me it was student success we have a group of teachers that are amazing. And when they saw that, when they saw the students were actually being successful, they were seeing, you know, it, it was, that was their payoff. And everyone wants that. I, you know, there's not a teacher here that doesn't want to be successful and feel successful and to be a part of something that's worthwhile. And so it's been very exciting because at first it was a little bit of um, an effort to sit down and Jen and I would, we would guide the process and we'd sort names and we would talk about needs and we would group kids to now a year later, you know, often the teachers are doing that. We're not involved in that and it has really come a long, come a long way in a year's time. They did. They found that by collaborating with each other and sharing each other's ideals, they, it became, it was working smarter not harder but finding a team first that mm -hmm. were very open-minded very willing very flexible that was I think that was one of the key to our successes is finding the right group of people to lead the rest of our staff because as you said it is now throughout the school and you can't tell the leaders from the followers because they're all mm -hmm. they're all right there together mm -hmm.